Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, there is a question coming from my viewer, Nox Vumu, and you have actually asked how to actually remove this hard disk cage itself. And I do understand that most users, or should I say most viewers out there, when they first purchase the case itself, right, they are so excited to actually dismantle everything, fit in their parts, and to remove all those unwanted parts. But do step back, calm down, and I'll show you how to actually remove this cage at ease. So first of all, you need a Phillips screwdriver. Then you will need to actually unscrew the uh, bottom screw to take out the center pillar. Or should I say the pillar that is covering all your cable management. And to unscrew the top thumb screw, take this out. Once you have actually done that, right? Next thing you will need to do, there is four screws on this cage itself. So let me just show you. Oh, before you flip, make sure you have something soft, or should I say, best to use a cutting mat so that you can actually protect the front. Especially over here, this is actually made of glass, so you wouldn't want to actually scratch it. Then remove off the, cu the uh, protection cover of the cage. You can choose either to remove off the caddy or not to. For me, I don't really have to, but just make sure that they are secured and not dropping off so you remove off the four screws which is located here 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 and here now for illustration purposes right i'm showing you how to actually unscrew the uh, four screws here but on the actual practice please do not follow my style like that reason being right once you have actually removed all the four screws your cage will just drop off to the bottom so make sure you do it this way. As in like sitting, lying flat, and the cage is facing you. I'm just gonna remove off the two more screws. Now also do not lose these screws, all right? best is actually to clip them onto the uh, magnetic tray once you have actually removed all the four screws right it's as easy as one two three this is removable see i've actually removed it out now to place this back right i know at times whereby you keep this aside and you wish to actually use back this cage now, please place the orientation as in the holes right is facing outside and not inside. Don't place it this way. And make sure that the ca um, the hard disk caddy um, handles right is actually facing outside, not inside. Don't do it this way. I believe some of you have watched two of the videos that I've done on this case itself. And for those of you who are actually new, click on the top right hand corner. I'll leave the link above and you can actually check out the two videos. The first video is mainly about how you handle the case itself, as in how you remove the side panel and the uh, tempered glass and to take note on some of the uh, sharp edges that might cut you. And the second video is mainly on this top panel. As you know, this case comes in two versions, the black and the white. Now, for black version itself, right, sad to say the top panel is made of alkalic and it's very easily scratched. So this is just a simple mode that, I, that I've actually done. So that second video, right, will teach you how to remove off this uh, whole top piece, or should I say uh, alkylic. And what I've actually made use of is actually the uh, chameleon carbon fiber vinyl tape and to tape the whole um, section. As you can see, if I were to tilt, see, it gives off a very nice tone. Now, Along the way, I've actually done a mod to this uh, Fantex Halo, which I've actually bought one year ago, and there are a total of uh, seven pieces. Now, the original piece itself, right, doesn't come with highlights. So what I've actually done is actually to make use of this so-called markers by Artline Supreme. This is actually metallic uh, gray. So I've actually done some highlights, and I'll be modifying it more or should I say, I'll do some modes furthermore. And of course, I've actually shortened the cables because it used to be very long. You can daisy chain them. 
and it's going to create lots of mess. So if you guys would want to actually watch that and do not want to miss anything, especially for the newcomers, do remember to subscribe my channel and of course hit on the notification button. Alright then guys, see you, take care, goodbye.